So today we're going to be doing the first small modifications to the GT86 so stay tuned and let's get into it. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen from that little intro there, I'm going to be doing a few little modifications to the GT86, nothing massive, just a few aesthetic things and also some bits of the interior just to make it my own. If you're new here, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with what I'm doing, but let's get into it. So modifications wise, I am new to the GT86 platform, so I have no idea what I am doing whatsoever. So I've been doing a little research online and what I've come across is some interior bits that can be done. I've got some stickers to put on the car just to make it my own and represent the JJB YouTube channel. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing. First things first is this little thing here and it's actually a weighted shifter. So I bought this off eBay, it was meant to be for the GT86 platform. So I'm just gonna double check if it fits. It's just a standard shifter. I could paint this, I could wrap it, I think. But I'm just going to put it on as it is, make sure it fits. It's got a nice weight to it. I'm not sure how much it exactly weighs, maybe 30 or 40 grams. But it's definitely heavier than the stock shifter. Second up then are these LED lights. Now the lights inside of the GT86 aren't fantastic. It's a seven year old car. So the lights inside were a little bit dim. So I just wanted to brighten things up a little bit. I got these off eBay as well. I actually need to go and have a look at it because... I don't actually know where these go or what they're for. I know there's definitely one that goes into the bit above the centre console, but I don't know where the other ones go. Maybe one in the boot, but I'll have a look at that. Last up then, we've just got some vinyls to represent the YouTube channel. I've actually got four here. I don't know where I'm going to put them. Um, maybe two on either side or one on either side rather and then one on the back and then have one to spare because I normally mess things like this up. What we're going to do, we're going to go out to the car, I'm going to set up a GoPro somewhere so you can see what I'm doing. I'll talk you through my experience of doing it. I'm not researching how to do these things, I know it's not particularly difficult but I think it's quite funny when I do this because I normally get something wrong. So what I'm going to be using, I'm just going to get a little flathead screwdriver, maybe put a bit of electrical tape over it just to make sure I'm not going to be getting any edges or marking anything when I'm doing things. Alright guys, so we're in the car at the moment, it's absolutely boiling in here and I don't know if you guys have felt the same but let me know down in the comments below whether you always think that your GT86 interior is really warm. I mean over here in the UK, I mean it must be 17-18 degrees now but it's unusually warm inside of here. I've had to crank the window over there just to get a bit of air in here as I think I'm going to pass out but what we're going to start with, we're going to start with the gear shift. I don't know whether it's going to fit, hopefully it does because I quite like the look of this one that I've got but we're going to switch to a different camera now and we're going to try and do it. So as far as I'm aware, all you actually need to do is to unscrew the stock one, which is coming off fairly easily. Oh, nearly got it, there we go. Okay, fair enough. Then we're going to get the upgraded one, which is here. I'm going to get it out of the packaging, which comes packaged pretty well to be honest. Here we are, this is the aftermarket one, you'll see it on there in a second. Then all we're supposed to have to do is to screw down, all the way down, it's quite a long screw. And there we are. Make sure I can get it into reverse, yep. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I'll have to take it out for a bit of a drive after this just to make sure that it feels okay and is working okay. I mean, it's a relatively simple mod and I can't see why it wouldn't work alright. I'll switch back to the GoPro cam so you can see it, but I'm barely putting any effort into this. I'm just doing it with my fingers as you can see. I like that, feels good, feels good. Okay, so we just had a little glitch with the camera, but whilst that was happening, I was just having a look at these interior lights as to where they go and what they do. So in this little pack we've got, which is somewhere, somewhere over here, this little pack here, we've got a front map dome light, which is just here. We've got two vanity mirrors, which are in each side of the mirror there. We've got two courtesy lights, and we've got one for the boot or the trunk, if you're from the US. So 
it says here that all, all lamps are plug and play. These are bright white LEDs as opposed to like the yellow halogeny style coloured um, lights that are in there already. So I'm going to start with this dome one. I'm not going to show you every single install, but if you want to know, I'll, uh, I'm more than happy to help you if you're looking at doing it yourself. But let's get started. I mentioned we're just going to start with this one here. And there's two little clips under there, one this side and one on that side that we need to take out. So I'm going to put the GoPro down and we're going to have a look to see how easy it is to get out and then how easy it is to replace the bulb. But just before we do, let's just show you what it's like with it on. So as you can see there, it's quite yellow. Um, I don't know if the camera is actually picking it up, but it is a yellowy tint. So we're going to look at what it looks like after, once we've finished. So all we're needing to do is to just to get under this little bit here, pry it open if we can. See if we can get in there. Oh, let's just clip back in. I'm actually going to take this tape off because not doing me a world of good. I'm just trying to be a little bit careful. I don't want to hit my dash cam, which is just here. There we are, so we've actually just got that off. It took a little longer than expected. But we've got it off, that's the important thing. So as you guys can see up there, there's a little bulb. We need to take that one out and then put the new one in. So I'm just gonna put the GoPro back down and then we're gonna bob that in. Just make sure you get the corresponding one. There is a positive and a negative, as it says in the actual description. But make sure, if it doesn't work, to turn it around just to make sure that you've got the right sides in. So I've just taken the old bulb out, which is this one here. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. And this is the new one here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make sure that I get it incorrectly like so put the other one somewhere else and then we're going to have a look to see what it looks like so just to double check that it works just going to turn this on and as you can see here it's a lot brighter of a light we're going to refit the cover back on and then have a look at it then so the cover is actually back on as you can see here so we're going to turn it on and as you can see it's a lot brighter of a light it's just a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the other yellowy light. All right guys, so that's the first one done. Next up, we have these bad boys here, which are the vanity lights. Um, as you can see here, there's a similar little ridge that you need to get off before being able to get to the light itself. I'm not gonna record the full process for this one because it's literally the same as that one that was done there, which by the way, looks great. So we're gonna get this one done and then we're gonna move on to the boot where I think the next one's a little bit more difficult but I'll get this one done, I'll repeat it on that side, and then we'll look at something else. Okay guys, so that was a bit of a mad 20 minutes, so it started raining as I wanted to do the boot one, hence why I've changed, and the boot light was incredibly warm to the touch, so I had to use some long nose pliers just to be able to do it. Now, I'm gonna show you the before and after, but essentially what you need to do is it's quite far inside the, the, the boot or the trunk, um, there's a little plastic cover on there. There's two little tabs that hold that on, so you need to squeeze it together, pull it off, and then I've got the long nose pliers held onto the wire side and used the pliers to pull the bulb out. Getting the new bulb back in was exactly the same, it was just the reverse of what you're doing. I've just got these door lights to do now, but it is still raining just a little bit, so I'm going to get them done. Again, I'll show you before and after. I don't think the stickers are going to go on today simply because it's wet and I'll have to dry the window, make sure the window is incredibly clean before applying it, so we'll do that in another video. But I'm going to get on with the other the lights which are at the side of the doors here, and I'll show you the difference to what it's all made. So I've just finished putting the first courtesy light on, which is just down at the bottom of the door here. I'll show you uh, a little bit closer up in a second. It was a bit of a pain, I didn't think the LED actually fit, but you just needed to turn it around. As I said earlier, they do have a negative and positive, so make sure it's the right way around. So as you can see here, this is a little module that holds it in. You need to take this little clip off. This has actually got the LED one in, but it's quite sunny now, so the weather decides to do what it wants to do. But 
take the little clip off, pull the bulb out, put the new bulb in, clip back on, and then all it does is it just sort of it's hard to do with one hand. Get this in. And it just sort of clips in there and that's it done. That's one side done. I'm gonna to go to the other side on the passenger side, move all the stuff over to the driver's side, get that side done, and then I might might do the stickers. We'll see because then it's now sunny again, which is typical British weather really. So guys, just a quick roundup of everything that we've done. We've changed the courtesy lights, we've changed the dome light, we've changed the vanity mirror light, we've changed the boot light. Now the differences, as which you can see, I'll put them on the screen again now, the differences are huge. The yellow light that you get with the stock bulbs is completely gone and it's now replaced by a bright white crisp LED light. Now I installed the gear shifter first, I just took the car out for a quick drive, just a quick spin down the road. Um, it feels fantastic. The only thing that I would possibly change about it is the fact that it is sort of a cylindrical shape as opposed to the, the ball style shape which you're used to. So just different hand positioning, different ways to hold it is what's needed. The gear shifts feel extremely smooth. It feels a lot better now that the gear stick is weighted and it just feels a lot better to, to drive. That's it for this video. There will be some more modification stuff coming. A bit heavier modification as opposed to just lights and bits and bats. I've only had the car a week so it's just a little bit it's just while I understand more about the platform and more about what my options are. Remember if you like this video to subscribe, keep up to date with what I'm doing, don't forget to like it and comment down below the modifications that you've done to your GT86 or your car in general and until next time I'll see you then. <laughs>